John Sundles here with uh, Stephen Smith, coming off uh, quite a good couple of years for yourself there. Uh, how are you doing, Stephen? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Uh, what are you expecting of this fight this weekend? Um, you seen it as a tough test or just a ticking over? Um, no, he, he, I've, got to, I've got to perform to win. It's one of them. He, he, he's good. He's, be, he's been on a good level. Um, he's box, you like see, you know, your Michael Garcia's and Arash's Marnie and stuff. And you know, he, he's gone a distance with them. And you know, he's had some decent wins as well. So, you know, he, he's like a typical Mexican. And he does everything right. So, you know, I, I've got to have to perform to, to win. I can't just turn up and expect to win. So, you know, I've been doing everything right in the gym. And you know, hopefully I'll perform on the night in front of my own fans. Has the camp gone well? We, we've got yeah, we been working on a, a, a few different things, but yeah, you know, I can't complain really. I'm, st I'm still in the gym and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a good performance in, you know, injury free, and hopefully look towards my next fight, which should be the, the big one, a world title fight. You're speaking to your Callum before about um, families and families that are, are in boxing, they usually brothers and fight together. Yeah. Why, why do you think that that happens? Um, I don't know. I think it's more, it's more like you know, I, everyone looks up to their elder brother type of thing, and you know, when you're a kid, you follow your big brother around and. You know, I was no different. I followed Paul around and he went into a boxing gym, so I wanted to go to a boxing gym. And then, you know, once me and Paul boxed, Liam and Callum were the same. They wanted to follow us around and they wanted to, to go and box because we boxed. And it was one of them. And, you know, it's not very often you get you get four brothers and, and they, all, they all stick at it and they all end up at a good level like us. So I think that is a special achievement for ourselves and it's one we're proud of. Uh, does it make you feel good as a brother to hear Callum being so highly touted with him being the youngest brother? Definitely, yeah. Um, I don't think it could happen to, to to a nicer kid, really. I think you know anyone who knows Callum, you know he doesn't really have many people people dislike him. You know he, he's a very likable lad, and you know for me personally, I see what he does in the gym. You know I see the way he lives his life, and you know he, he's 100 percent boxing. You know he, he he's out running, or you know he's in the gym. You know he, he's not really a drinker or not, and he he, he does everything properly, and you know he, he's a proper athlete. So I think he deserves everything he gets out the game. So to see it, see all the I like the, you know the praise he's getting. You know, it couldn't happen to anyone better for me. What would be your dream fight? Coming out of this fight for a world title, who would the dream fight be against for you? Um, hopefully it's going to be this uh, Takashi Mori. He's the he's WBC champion. I'm WBC silver champion. So, you know, I should really be next in line. And, you know, I'm hoping that comes off and, you know, that, that's my next fight. And, you know, if it does, then, you know, I fully intend on winning it. Would that be a fight that you try and get over here in Liverpool or would you have to travel for it? Um, I'd love to get it here, but I think I'm going to have to go to Japan for it. So, it looks like I'll be travelling. Um, how does it feel to have big time boxing in Liverpool so regularly at the moment? Um, it's good, you know. Liverpool's a proper fighting city, and you know you can't kid these fans. You know they, 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 know, they, they know what they know. They, they're the good boxing fans, and you know if, if someone performs well on the night, they, they, they'll applaud them. They'll let them know. And if you know, same same as you know, if, if someone's not really that good, you know they're not really lies. They wouldn't they wouldn't stand there and, and, and praise the death. If they didn't think you were that good, they'd probably let you know about it. So you know they know the boxing. So I'm, I'm planning on putting a good performance in for them. You've got Paul, uh, hopefully going to seal this fight with Arthur Abram. How do you see that fight going out? And you excited for him to, to get another crack at that world title? Yeah, again, you know, it, it's exciting times for us. You know, we, it looks like it's, it's nearly done now, I mean. And so, you know, I think, you know, looking at the super middleweight, it, it's, it's the best opportunity for the world title as well. You know, you're Andre Ward and Carl Flock to a really high elite level. But, you know, I don't believe Arthur Abram is. I think he's, be, he's been very good in the past, but I think his best days are behind him. And, you know, I think it's a very winnable fight for Paul, and you know, as long as he prepares properly and does everything right in the gym, then you know, there's no reason he can't be world champion in September. And the uh, Olympic fighters that are on this card, well, you've got Andy Joshua, Luke Campbell, and Andy Gogo. I think they'll come through these fights this weekend. Yeah, definitely. I think the talent will see them through. You know, and you know, I'm sure that they're, they're putting the, the effort in the gym, and you know, they, they, they don't want to lose. You know, they're going to have to got a lot of pressure on them, so they're going to be performing in the gym. You know, making sure that they, they don't go out and make any mistakes. So. You know, I know a few of them personally as well, and you know, I've seen them, I've trained with them in the past. You know, I've been away quite a lot with Luke Campbell, and you know, I know he's a good trainer, he's a dedicated lad, and you know, he's not just all about the, the limelight. He, he puts it in in the gym as well. So, you know, he put a performance in, I'm sure. You know, same as the other lads. Anything else that you might like to add uh, for your friends, family, sponsors, or if you want to give you a Twitter or Facebook account? Um, no, just just. Just you know, I'm happy for all the support I'm getting, you know, me and my brothers and you know, long may I continue really, you know, all the support behind us, you know, we're really grateful for it. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.